Roth. Great to see you. Perfect start to the new week. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it is Monday, May 6th. Now today we are going to do something a little bit different. We are not going to focus in on a hot penny stock. Oh, I know I disappointed a bunch of you. I'm going to try to make it up to you though. You ever heard that old cliche, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for life. That's what I'm trying to do, folks. I want to show you where you can find your own hot penny stocks, whether it be before the bell or during the day. It's important that you can find them without wasting a lot of time. So this is where I initially do all of my research on any stock. Doesn't matter if it's OTC or a major exchange. This site covers them all. Now, I'm not going to pretend and say they have every single piece of information and the site is perfect. It's not. But then what site is? But this site has a lot of information. They even have information that you're not going to find on any other site that I find quite valuable. And I'm going to share all of that with you right now. First thing I want to share with you is the information about the OTC market that you're going to want to keep up with. This gives us a tally of the progress she's done each day. This is how many companies are on the OTC, how much money they actually did today on the OTC, and that's a very, very low number. How many shares of stock they moved on the OTC? Again, a very low number. Before COVID, the OTC market was doing between 60 and 70 billion shares a day. Today, we did 3.4 billion. And then we have how many trades were done on the OTC market. Today, 221,000. Now, there's a lot of information on this site. All of their links are up here. All you got to do is float on the brown bar and it comes down. We're not going to cover any of these columns, just this very first one, market activity. And I'm not going to go through every single one of them, just my favorite fishing ponds. So the first one we're going to start off with here is the news. The news is where most people do their research and due diligence. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of information in news. This is where our catalysts are coming from. But as a day trader, the news can be very time consuming. You find a piece of news, you got to jump into it, read it, figure out what's hot, what's not, and then move on to the next piece of news. That's a lot of time you're wasting as a day trader. I don't ignore the news. I do look at it, but I spend more time at the bottom. Here in the middle, you've got the financial reports, and at the bottom, you have SEC filings. And all of these are in chronological order with the most current piece up at the top. Now, the SEC filings to me are more relevant than the news, and I'll give you two reasons why. First off, whenever there's an important piece of news up here, there normally is a filing to back it up. And two, a lot of times they'll bring out an important piece of information in a filing that they do not release in news. And I am talking about mergers, acquisitions, stock splits. So I love going through these and they're quick and easy. I normally look at the 8Ks and the 6Ks. They're the ones that'll give you that sort of information. And all I do is click it. Scroll down to that first bold black line right there. And if it says something like that, changes in registrants certifying accountant, and eh, that's nothing I'm really interested in. So I'll dive down to the next one, poke in on that. That's what I'm looking for. Entry into material definitive agreement. Now, what company was this? This is ATAO. Now, I'm just looking. Is there any news here for ATAO? I'm not seeing it, which drives home the point. You can get big information in a filing that won't come out in a news press. Now, maybe it'll come out later, but what good is late news? This gives it to you as soon as it came out. So I do come here off and on throughout the day, over and over, just clicking these 8Ks and 6Ks, going down to that bold line and seeing what's going on. If it's of interest, then I'll take the time to read it and see what is going on. Now, there's another page I like to go to right here, Corporate Actions. There's a lot of different information on this page, folks. Corporate Action, right here. You see where it says Symbol Changes? There's an arrow. Click that arrow, and you open up a whole lot of other options. 
venue changes, symbol changes, name changes, symbol and name change. Have you ever been following a stock? You get up in the morning, you type in the ticker, it doesn't come up. That's okay. You type in the name, it doesn't come up. What happened? Where's my stock? They pulled it off the market. You start freaking out. You're out of the loop. You didn't know they changed their name and ticker. Well, before you freak out, before you run around Google doing all this searching, trying to get an answer, just come over here. Corporate actions, hit that arrow, scroll down to symbol and name change, and you will get the information in chronological order, right? So it's going to be up at the top, the old ticker, the new ticker, the old name, the new name, it's all right there. Now, what I normally look at first thing, and I mean very first thing in the morning, are the stock splits. This information covers all the stocks on all the markets. This is OTC and major exchange as well. Again, in chronological order. You're going to have the date. You're going to have the type of split. Was it a reverse split, R, or a forward split? The ticker, the name of the company. And right here, you'll get an idea if they're on the major exchange. It'll say no tier. That's on the major exchange. Could be New York Stock Exchange. Could be NASDAQ. They don't tell us. But if they're on the OTC, you'll get the name of the tier that they're on. Pink Current, OTC QB, Pink Limited, things like that. And then over here, it'll tell you the size of the split. This was a 1 to 10. This was a 1 to 4. Another piece of information I check out first thing in the morning, and this one you're going to want to pay attention to, folks, tier changes. This is simply OTC stocks, and this tells you when they move from one tier to another tier. Going from pink current to pink limited, bad news. Going from expert market to pink limited. Folks, this isn't just good news. This is one you need to watch. Let me explain this. When a company falls behind on their financials and they don't get them caught up in time, they will be removed off of the OTC market and thrown down to the expert. Now, the expert is not a delisting. It's a penalty box. It is a time out. Once they get their fines caught up, they come off the expert market and back on to the open market. Now, here's where the game begins. When they fall off the expert market, let's just say, for example, VLTFF was at one penny. When they go down to the expert market, the stock cannot be traded by us, but it can be traded by marketers and brokers. And I cannot explain why, but they shred the price. The stock was a penny when it went down to the expert market. It starts to fall. You see it go down to double zero one, triple zero one, four zero ones may even hit five zeros in front of that one. Shredded that price completely. Now they catch up on their financials. They're coming back onto the open market. It has to be triple zero one minimum. They can't bring it on at any other price below that. And normally that's where they come on. They come back onto the market at triple zero one, triple zero two, right around there. But you know what happens? They run right back to the old price before they got pulled off the expert market. So if it was a penny and it came on at triple zero one, it is going to go to a penny and that's going to be a 10,000% run. Now I called one of these a couple years ago. I got a video out there, an 85,000% runner. I seen it coming off the expert market. Everything looked good. I looked at the old price. It was 17,000% away. I said, folks, we could get a 17,000% run on this. What kind of crazy man says that out in the open? Well, the very next day, it came off the expert market and went 85,000%. Now, here's the problem with experts. When you're dealing with the OTC stocks, you cannot buy on a market order. A market order is just like throwing a hook out there and it'll grab any price that passes by. And you're in the game. You can't do that on the OTC. You have to pick a price. And that is the problem. When it comes on the market, the first bounce could take it from triple zero one to double zero one. We have no idea. So you've got to pick a price ahead so that when the price starts running, it slams into you and you get that hook into it and it drags you on up. They can be fun, but they can be a headache too. Really tough. 
So every single morning, this comes out. And some of these are really long. I've seen these with over a hundred tier changes in one day. And what you want to be looking for are those that are moving up. You want to find those that go from the gray market to pink, expert to pink, coming from pink limited to pink. Anything going up and making themselves better is exciting. And you can find these stocks easily before the bell. Now, there may be trading on these stocks pre-market, but it isn't anybody we know. <laughs> it's marketers and brokers. We can't trade pre-market or aftermarket. So it's frustrating to see OTC stocks moving pre-market, aftermarket, and we can't do anything about it. You've got to wait until the bell. So you see a stock that's coming off the expert market, you want to get ready to really move fast, folks. They can be wild. So, lots of information here for pre-market plays. Now, the best place I go to find stocks during the day is right here, current market. Hit current market, it's gonna bring you to this page. Most active stocks on the entire OTC market, all 12,431 of them. This list, the most active stocks. Doesn't matter if they're gaining or losing, it's just showing you who's doing the most active. You have advancers here in the center and decliners at the bottom. I focus in on the advancers. I focus in on all of them. So I click this all right here. Then I open up the more button and boom. This is every single stock on the OTC market by gains. You can't change this. It lists it by the gains at the top. These double diamonds are expert market stocks. We can't trade them. So we just ignore them, pay no mind to them. First one we got here is UBQU. It's at 0001. It came up 9,900%. What they're saying is it lost two zeros. <laughs> it was down at 501, came up to 0001. Normally these stocks with these huge gains like this, they're just getting up to 0001. Now, what I come to this page for primarily, any page can tell you the percentage change. Any page can tell you share volume. And those are good, but this isn't real important to me. Not really. I can see share volume. And there may have been 10 million shares sold. Well, I have no idea if one person bought those 10 million shares or if 100 people bought those 10 million shares. Does it matter? Well, heck yeah, it matters. If I'm going to get into the game and start bidding, I want someone else there it's kind of tough to play tennis with one person, right? So right here, that column right there tells me how many trades a company has had. I cannot find this information on any other site. Actually, I did find it on one other site, but they only give us like the top 20, not every single stock. You can keep clicking this more button and it will just keep going, folks, down and down and down through all 12,000 stocks. It will just roll. Now, what I'm looking for is the stocks that have the most trades. The way I figure it, let's look at this stock right here. It's had two trades. Well, I know with two trades, there is no more than two people playing with that stock. And it may be one person making two trades, right? But if I come down here to 151, that could be 151 people. Now, if everybody made two trades, it's 75 people. Well, folks, that's a crowd. 75 people is a lot of people around a stock. And you can see, this is the end of the day. This is the end of the day. Look how few trades most of these companies are getting. So when you see a stock that's in the triple digits, that's how many shares. They moved 98 million shares, went up 100%. At 0003, this is SIRC. And from here, you click this and you can get any information. Learn about the news, her share structure, her financials. Let's see what else we can find here, a big one. Now, there were times when we were getting thousands of trades on a lot of stocks. We're lucky to get, be getting stocks that have hundreds of trades. Right now, we're down to 35%. I normally don't go any lower than 30%. And I haven't seen anything here over, what was it, 200 and something. Wow. 
Look at that, folks. So you can see how thin trading is on the OTC market. You can instantly, there is a 15 minute delay on most of these pages on the OTC market, but you'll get an idea of which stocks are moving, what price they are, and how many people basically are around them. Now let's go back. You can play around with this page here. Let's open this up. All right, right here is the price. I can come down through here and look for stocks that are under five bucks. Actually, you can look for any price you want, but I'm looking for stocks under five bucks. There's one WXXWY. That's a big ticker. $3.72. Look at this, 253 trades. She had volume of 2.3 million. So there's a lot of information on this page, but primarily folks, the one I do like is the advancers. You can come over here any time of day and that's what I do. I come over to this advancers page and I look for a stock that has had a lot of trades, a lot of people around it. The more people, the more trading activity. It's kind of like going to the movies, right? You go to the movies, they got six movies, you ain't seen any of them. You don't know which one's gonna be the best, but you see one line that is so long. It's the one line you really don't wanna get into, but it gives you an idea of which movie is probably the best. And that's what I'm getting here, a sense of which stocks I should be focused in on. So there's a lot of other pages here you can go through, folks. I do use other pages on other sites, but this is where I do most of my work and I can do it quick. I can find a stock that has a lot of trades. I can find a stock that has moved from one tier to another. I can see if they've had a reverse split. At a glance, I can get this information without having to dive into the news. Nothing wrong with reading the news, but read it when you've got all your trades made. Read it before the market. If you're looking for a trade, jumping into the news to find a trade is probably the worst place to do it because time is critical for a day trader. I hope I've shared something here with you that you can put to use, folks. Go find your own hot penny stocks. Yes, I'll keep bringing them to you, but it's better if you can feed yourself, right? Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.